Hi, this is Lauren from LSP Actions and I'm using the LSP Sky Overlay Action Collection. This action set comes with 10 skies and complementary actions. So to start with, you're going to want to select here. I'm going to come onto button mode. Choose your sky overlay. This will help you place and position your sky overlay. This image is from Anna Brandt. So locate wherever you save the skies. You'll have to make sure you've unzipped them um, from the zip file. This image has the sun in it, so I'm going to make sure I'm using the sky that has kind of a sunset effect. I think I'm going to go for number one. These skies were all shot in Hampshire and have been edited for a real painterly effect. So the sky is semi-transparent, resize and position and then hit enter. So I'm going to move this around so we see the sun here is lining up and stretching out because I want this to reach all the way over here obviously and I've just lined that up to make sure that we can still see the sun okay and hit enter this is going to set up multiple layers now um, use a white brush to gently paint the sky in the blend mode is set to darken which is best for white skies you can change the blend mode to suit the image if you wish the blend mode is here you see where it says darken you can change that if you need to. But first off, grab a nice big white brush and paint the sky in. Depending on which sky you use, it may overlay a little bit onto your subject's faces if they're kind of coming up into the horizon here. So you're going to want to zoom in and grab a black brush. And just paint some of that off really careful with the edges because you don't want a kind of a white halo coming in. And that's before and after. The next step is here, setting up multiple layers. Select the sky and set up the layers. This is if you want to. So you can obviously carry on with your normal edit. You can edit this, um, this sky layer however you like. Or you can select the sky and set up some layers here. This action plays quite quick and you see it sets up lots and lots of layers. You have rich colour, mute and calm, pinkified, creamified, colour wash, drastic contrast, deepen and dark, and lift and brighten and tone down. So if you want to see exactly what they're doing to your sky, you can hold down shift on the keyboard and click the mask to turn it on and off. You see you have lots of different kind of effects here. For this image I think I'm just going to add a little bit of rich colour, so I need that white brush and coming in. I'm on quite a high flow right now, I think I'd probably prefer to be on around 25% flow. And if it's still too strong you can kind of take the opacity down there. And I may mute and calm kind of along the horizon here. You'll also notice a blur layer has popped up here, and you can use this to blur the sky to go with depth of field. For this image it's not needed um, because the image is sharp all the way through. If for example you used a, um, a shallow depth of field and the background was quite blurred, you may want to blur the sky to kind of match that. So before and after. And when you're done and you're happy with the sky, you can take a snapshot and flatten and carry on with your normal edit before, after. And that's using the LSP Sky Overlay Actions and Skies, available at www.lsp-actions.com.